you for sharing the day. Working for a living with Hoss on Louisiana Proud, KBON 101.1. Thank you for voting us number one favorite radio. We ventured to Eunice, where music is preserved by Paul Marks, founder of K-Bond Radio. He's mostly retired now, but that doesn't stop him from his passion. My, my job now is pretty much taking care of the music. Mm -hmm. and I work real hard to get good music for our listeners. He particularly likes independent artists, and they're welcome to walk in anytime. Right now, if somebody walks in with a CD, and they're passing the circuit, they come in. We're gonna sit them down. Some of the stores are pretty interested when you get these guys on the road, you know? So yeah, we don't turn any musician down. That's real radio, in yeah. my opinion, you know? He recalls a time when a young Hunter Hayes visited and didn't understand the concept of the B-side of a 45. He played Johnny Can Dance by Wayne Toops. And I said, oh, I said, uh, did you know that I wrote the other side of that song. He didn't know what a B-side was? I said, you know, uh, uh, the other side of the record, you know, Johnny K. Dan, and the other side is Every Day is Mother's Day. I wrote that song. He just gave me that deer in the headlight. Like <laughs> As older musicians pass to the other side, Paul cherishes the voice recordings that keep them alive. And especially if you have a line, hi, this is Bo Jock, you're listening to KBN 111. Yeah. You know? That's going to live on forever, here, yeah. you know? Deceased musicians and other spirits are known to pay a visit to K-Ball from time to time. Uh, they say she's eight or nine years old. She has a long white dress mm -hmm. and uh, long blonde hair. You saw her, a, a kid skipping, you know, a kid would skip across. Right. And he thought it might be one of my grandchildren. And my daughter came in, he hadn't seen her, and she brings her kids sometimes. Nobody here but him. You know. And she's been known to freak out a couple of DJs. He was quite startled. <laughs> you have to clean up a mess in the I, I, I think that's when we started having paper towels in, in the DJ booth. <laughs> Even some old friends have come back to say hi. So he's here. She said, yeah, he's at the door. And he just wants me to tell you how proud he is of you. And thank you for still play this music. Paul is also a UFO enthusiast with his own personal encounters. It's probably the music touching all of us, the spiritual world, and the heavens above. <laughs>